up and pour yourself a cold drink. We're gonna talk about the things that fire you up. Because, because it is wrestling. Everyone is coming down, not wearing a frown. Talk about it. We gonna talk about it. Talk about the things that really fire you up. And because, because it is wrestling. Everyone is coming down, not wearing a frown. John Cena returned at Hell in a Cell only to beat Alberto Del Rio. The next night on Raw, after getting the heavyweight world championship and showing that he really is a Superman, Damian Sandow would cash in his money in the bank. I'm going to be honest, this match between Sandow with the cash-in against Cena was better than the one at the pay-per-view the night previous. Sandow has really stepped up his game and become a legit threat. Now, he did cash in the money in the bank. He didn't get the title. But he got a hell of a lot of respect, especially from a fan like me. Paul Heyman is now out of the picture. With CM Punk finally getting his hands on him at Hell in a Cell and delivering a GTS right on the top of the cage. It was a thing of beauty. The next night, Ryback wanted some revenge. He challenged CM Punk to a street fight, which was chosen by the fans. Wouldn't you know it? Using the Anaconda device, Ryback tapped out. Right now, everything for Paul Heyman and the Paul Heyman guys, not looking too good. The Rhodes brothers remain triumphant in their tag team championship run. They defeated the Shield, well, at least two thirds of the Shield at Hell in a Cell, and then threw a whooping to them Uso boys on Raw. Promo of the week goes to this man, Shawn Michaels. Now, wouldn't you know it, but at Hell in a Cell, somebody got super kicked in the face, and that man is Daniel Bryan. Not only did he get screwed once again out of the title at Hell in a Cell, Shawn Michaels knocked him out with a super kick. So, Shawn Michaels, trying to be the bigger man, explained the reason that he knocked out Daniel Bryan is because Triple H is his friend. But really, the meat of the promo came along when Shawn Michaels decided to completely turn heel and say to Daniel Bryan, you selfish little puke, shake my hand. Daniel Bryan looked at him. He wasn't going to shake his hand. He says, we're on national television. He goes, do the right thing. The right thing is not shaking his hand. Brian exited, but are we seeing what could be a little something brewing for WrestleMania 30 with HBK? Kane returned to Monday Night Raw only to beat Miz to a pulp. He called Stephanie McMahon out. He explained to her he knows what's best for business and that Stephanie needed a monster. And now the monster would be hers to unleash, dropping his mask and handing it to her. After being humiliated by Shawn Michaels, guess what happens next? Daniel Bryan gets the crap kicked out of him and sent to the hospital by the Wyatt family. Now, only to make things worse, we've got Randy Orton who has to come out. We've got the championship coronation and celebration. So Stephanie and Triple H come out with Randy Orton and it's a love fest. Everybody's hugging everybody. And Triple H knew that he could always do it. However, there has to be somebody to throw a kink in the works. And that man is of course, oh, it's the big show. And he says, what are you gonna do? You're gonna have me arrested? You're gonna have me locked up? I got somebody to bail me out. Finally, Big Show's rage had had it and it exploded. Bam, knockout punch to Randy Orton and we are left with that image. And that's Raw on Tap. It looks like Caitlyn saying that AJ is better. But AJ Lee signed this. And Caitlyn signed this. And Rob Van Dam also signed this as well as Daniel Bryan. That's right. I want to thank all the fans who came out to Ringside Fest 10 and helped us celebrate. And thank you to the WWE Universe for being so loyal, as well as our Ringside customers. Without you, we're nothing. And we appreciate you coming down, hanging out, and saying hello. Thank you. Anybody knows this guy, Jerry? Yeah. It's his first time here. Everybody, welcome, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Jerry, 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 Jerry. Okay, Jerry. Well, I got to tell you, it's a better reaction than I got from Maury Povich show. And I am not the father, just in case you guys want to know.
what do, what do you got right there? Um, Daniel Bryan just signed my... Whoa, whoa, show, you gotta, you gotta show it to Nicholas. Look at that. Biggest AJ fan here. Me. <laughs> okay, and what was it like getting to meet her? Um, it was amazing. I, you can tell by my eyes that I was like bawling my eyes out, and she let me hold the belt, and it was amazing and perfect. <laughs> what, what's this? You kissed Caitlyn. I'm the kid that kissed Caitlyn. How you feel, everyone? And I got figures. Whoa! Look at this. You got a ton of swag here. This is insane. You got. You got Bruno San Martino, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Brodus Clay, all from Series Elite Series 25. Yep. You got Brock Lesnar, The Undertaker, and The Miz from Elite 24. I mean, you you're like the king right now. I saw I saw your friend was there. He 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 got real slick. I think he tried to slip Caitlyn kiss. Yeah, he did though. He did. He actually did. Amazing. Yes! 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 You can have many pictures with me. That's totally cool. As long as you're not throwing up gang signs, I'm, I'm totally cool with it. We're with our good friend, Bill McKenna, who is a designer at Mattel. I watch it every day, Friday and Monday. Wow, so you're a huge wrestling fan. Yeah. Welcome to Ringside Mailbag where you have questions and I debatably have answers. Our first question comes from Billy Warnstaff. Will AJ Lee have a new elite figure with the Divas Championship? All right, you're probably gonna get a brand new AJ Lee as far as what she'll be wearing and whether she'll have the Divas Championship, that remains to be seen and it would probably be sometime into next year. Zion XX39 asks, when are we gonna get a Harper and Rowan? This is actually not his question. He's very frustrated. He has asked it many times. The answer is, you're gonna get a Harper and Rowan from the Wyatt family. Probably second or third quarter of 2014. I can't give you an exact date, but I promise you they're coming. Psycho Kill 1998 asks, who would you like to see face The Undertaker at WrestleMania? Who would I like? Honestly, I would like to see Goldberg take him on. I think that would be a great way for Goldberg to close out his career. But apparently, from what the rumors have it, it's gonna be Brock Lesnar. So don't get your hopes up too high. Yeah, that Brock and Taker match is happening. They are friends. If you remember the whole UFC stare down deal that happened a few years ago, do some smarts. 1,000, here comes the pain. Jerry, are you a Paul Heyman guy and did you ever meet Paul Heyman? Yes, I am a Paul Heyman guy. Yes, I've met Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is one of the greatest minds that pro wrestling has ever seen, period. Okay? He's been around. <laughs> Most of you guys weren't even around when he was in WCW and he was working as Paulie Dangerous, uh, as a manager. The guy is a genius. Okay? That's it. As far as the wrestling world is concerned, Paul Heyman is a genius, so I'm a Paul Heyman guy. Do you have comments, questions, suggestions? Put them below. I'll try to get to as many questions as I can, guys. You gotta understand, the show isn't that long, and, oh wait, I gotta stop now. Put the comments below, oh, questions. Well, like all good things, Ringside or Riot must come to an end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. And for the largest selection of WWE figures in the universe, go to WrestlingFigures.com or I'm going to hit you with this jam!